Hello, and welcome to an overview of the document titled Test Lab Guide Demonstrate Direct Access with Network Access Protection, or NAP. My name is Joe Davies. I'm a principal writer in the Windows Server Networking IT Pro Writing Team at the Microsoft Corporation. A key requirement for this document is a working direct access test lab that is based on the document titled Test Lab Guide Demonstrate Direct Access. With a working direct access test lab, the goals of this document are to provide you with step-by-step -step instructions to configure and demonstrate the operation of NAP system health evaluation requirements with a minimum number of steps using computers in the direct access test lab running Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows 7. The result is a working test lab for direct access with NAP functionality, which you can use for further experimentation and learning. Note that due to the highly simplified configuration of the direct access with NAP test lab, the following are not goals of this document. To teach you about direct access with NAP design considerations or best practices, or to allow you to, to adapt the direct access with NAP test lab to deploy direct access with NAP in a pilot or production capacity on your network. Both direct access and NAP are relatively complicated network infrastructure technologies that require careful design and consideration prior to rollout. Here we see the configuration of the direct access test lab, consisting of the four server computers, the two client computers, and the three different subnets. For direct access with NAP, we're going to configure the following. On App 1, or application server, we're going to make it a NAP certification authority, or NAP CA. The NAP CA's role is to issue health certificates to compliant NAP clients. A health certificate is a digital certificate with the System Health Enhanced Key Usage, or EKU. We're going to configure DC1 as the Health Registration Authority, or HRA, and Network Policy Server, or NPS. The HRA is essentially a website that uh, NAP clients contact to submit their system health information. The HRA receives that information and sends it to the Network Policy Server service for evaluation. The NPS service uh, evaluates that information against the series of network and system health policies and determines whether the NAP client is compliant or non-compliant. If compliant, it instructs the, uh, the HRA to contact the NAPCA and obtain a health certificate on the NAP client's behalf. Note that we are not adding any additional servers to this test lab. To configure and test, we're going to configure App 1 as the NAPCA, configure DC1 as the HRA and NPS, and then we're going to configure a NAP client settings and group policy, specifically on the group policy object for direct access clients that already exist. We're going to enable a specific NAP enforcement client and configure it with the URL of the HRA running on DC1. Then when clients connect to the CorpNet subnet, we're going to verify NAP functionality in two ways. First of all, we're going to see that when, NAP, when client 1 is compliant with system health requirements, it has an installed health certificate. We're also going to test a behavior, a NAP behavior called auto-remediation. We're going to deliberately configure client once that is no longer compliant with system health requirements and watch as the NAP client components on client one automatically correct that configuration so that it is now compliant. Specifically we're going to disable the Windows firewall for domain networks and watch as it automatically is, is uh, re-enabled um, on, on client one. Next, we're going to connect client 1 to the internet subnet and verify that same NAP functionality, auto-remediation and uh, having a, a new uh, health certificate installed when client 1 is compliant with system health requirements. And then lastly, we're going to configure and verify NAP full enforcement functionality for direct access. NAP full enforcement is, an, is a deployment mode in which the NAP client must be compliant with system health requirements in order to gain connectivity or communication on a network. NAP full enforcement for direct access means that the direct access server requires a health certificate in order to verif uh, verify the authentication, the IPsec authentication of the direct access client, 
when creating the intranet tunnel, which is used by the direct access client to gain access to the larger intranet. So to configure this, we're going to go to the connection security rule on the direct access server and configure it to require a health certificate for IPsec authentication. If you have any problems, please retrace your steps. Um, the steps are very specific and, and a minor typo in a URL can impair the functionality of, of the entire test lab. If you're still having trouble, see the documents titled NAP Troubleshooting Guide and Direct Access Troubleshooting Guide. To use the Direct Access with NAP Test Lab to learn about NAP specific troubleshooting tools and techniques, see the document titled Test Lab Guide Troubleshoot Direct Access with NAP. For information about the design and configuration of direct access to NAP for your pilot or production deployment, search on direct access with NAP to see the direct access with NAP solution content on TechNet. For a copy of this document, search on Test Lab Guide Demonstrate Direct Access with NAP or go to the URL indicated here. For more information about direct access, go to Microsoft.com slash direct access. For more information about NAP, go to Microsoft.com slash NAP. This is Joe Davies. Thank you for your time and attention.